Hey everyone, this is Ed from Tech Talk. Today I'm going to show you quickly how to create a Windows 10 virtual machine using uh, Oracle VM VirtualBox. And if you don't have VirtualBox installed, it's really simple. I have a a link to the um, video below where I show you how to download and install it. And if you don't have the Windows 10 uh, install media, I have a link to that video too. So go ahead and check them out if you get a chance or if you need to. But otherwise, um, so let's go ahead and um, get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a new machine. So click on machine. You can click new there or you can go to your right there and click the new now you're going to name your windows machine i'm going to name it windows 10 and then click on the iso image arrow and then click other and go ahead and select where you downloaded your iso image and then load that into the virtual machine i uh, stored mine in the document so i'm going to select it now hit open and once it loads go ahead and check the box skip unattended installation and then click next and now you'll get a chance to select what amount of memory or um, processor um, allocations you want to um, allow for this machine you can set it to, to anything you want under um so for example i i, I went with four processors um so the 50 gigabytes is the basic but you can go to as little as 32 gigabytes don't go any lower than 32 that's the minimum for a virtual machine or that's the minimum for the installation requirement for windows 10 really now you're just going to hit start and once it starts it's um it's kind of a slow process um you're going to go ahead and click next here then hit install now and then once the next step comes up you can select to um skip providing a, a cd key unless you actually have one but say i don't have a product key and hit next and then you can select any one of these i'm just going to do windows home for now just to show you and i'm going to hit next you could select Pro if you wanted to check it out. Then check the I accept the license term, click Next, and then click on Custom Install, and then select your unallocated space, your hard drive that you created, and hit Next. And then this will take a little bit. Just be patient. And once it gets to, um, and this will, this process will re reboot a few times. So don't, don't get worried if it gets stuck at getting ready or crazy things like that. It's, it's a, it's a slow install. So just, just be patient. And as you can see, this is going through pretty quick. So I'm just going to let it run. Um, at some point, it's going to get to a point where it's going to reboot and i just let it reboot it on its own you can check the the um, or click the button restart now um i never do i i guess i have um have trauma from the one time that i clicked restart now and it didn't work <laughs> so i don't know but uh you can you can click restart now and it should work fine now here make sure you don't hit anything because you don't want to accidentally boot from cd or anything like that so just let it run it's going to get stuck at this getting ready for um a significant amount of time i i am fast forwarding it a little bit so that way we don't um have to waste too much time but i wanted to get the the whole effects of the install um it will reboot after it's done doing that and again don't press anything um let it just boot and it'll get stuck at this just a moment for a little bit and i believe i did skip a li little bit of this as well now in the beginning here the cortana you can actually click one of the buttons and and um 
stop that. It'll give you the option to do that. Now, it's I, ideally, if you're going to do this, I would create an email like I did um, prior to install so that you have it ready to rock and roll. But it does give you the option to um, to create the email in here. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select the United States. And yes, you can select whatever country or um, area that you're in. And then I believe the next is going to be um, the your location. I'm just going to go ahead and skip this part. So here's where I was talking about the email. <clears throat> you can um, cre click create account. It'll let you, uh, or you can sign in with a security key. Um, just to show you, I'm just going to go ahead and put the email in. And I created, I love work, 1017 at outlook.com. You can have that if you want to. It's, um, I love my wife, uh, something I forgot. But anyways, <laughs> the, um, once you're done doing this, you can, um, click next and then it'll, I think it'll offer you to do a pin, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, it'll. You can go in later and you can remove the requirement for um, both the pin and the the um, email after if you want to. Just to simplify this, I just I just used it. Now you can accept the agreement here if you want, or you can change it if you don't want to keep it. But it's a virtual machine, so I just did skip and accept for all of the um, pre. Over here, I'm just going to click remind me later, or you can click no thanks. You can click uh, decline on that, decline here. And then set no thanks unless you really want it. Not now. And I mean, like I said, it's just a virtual virtual box. So most of you are probably just going to be doing what I'm going to do with it. And that's just some testing and what have you. Um, in this case, I just created it just for fun. But I might go back and create a uh, pro version just to do some testing on that. Right now, I'm testing uh, the um, Windows, uh, uh, the new... Uh, I am uh, actually got the Windows 11 Insider Preview, uh, where you can test the uh, operating system before it goes out. And then that's it. Um, this thing's pretty much loaded. And if you want to get back out of it, if you're in full screen, um, you can go ahead and just shut this down like you normally would any other computer. So you would just click the start flag, hit the power button, and then just hit shut down. And that's it. And and vice versa. So if you want to restart, you can hit restart and it'll actually restart for you. But that's pretty much it, my friends. Um, please consider liking and subscribing Tech Talk. And if you have any ideas or anything that you're looking to work on um, or you need help with, uh, please let me know. Thank have a great day.